What do you do at Meeting Max? When you figure that out, let me know, please. So I take orders from a whole lot of people. My name is Mumtaz Omalanik. I am the bean counter at Meeting Max. The counter. David Ebert. I'm CFO and helped uh, Jeff start this company, what is that, 12 years ago or so? My name is Jeff Duncan. I'm the President and Chief Operating Officer at Meeting Max. I'm the Community and Marketing Manager. I am one of the IT guys that extend the application and solve our customers' uh, issues. My name is Serena Parmar and I work with the in the Client Services Department. I'm the Guest Services Manager. I'm a web developer and I work on the new UI. My name is Greg Stephenson and I'm a web developer at Meeting Max. Right now I'm kind of all over the place. I'm helping uh, Farah and um, Serena out with whatever kind of stuff they have that day. I'm Tessa Calfell. I'm a contractor working on special projects. I'm the Director of Business Development. Describe yourself using only three words. First and foremost, mother. I'm loyal and a hard worker. Tall, dark, and magnum. I would say I'm dedicated, loyal, funny. Tenacious, adaptable, thoughtful. I'm outgoing, I'm organized. I am nerdy and trendy. I'm organized. I think that's more than three, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you could add any drink to the Meeting Max liquor card, what would it be? Capsa. Granville Island honey lager. Mimosas with champagne. A good 18-year-old single malt. A rusty nail, of course. Scotch and drambuie. A Mexican bulldog or bullfrog would, you know, where you take the like margarita and put a Corona upside down in it. I would add a seven and seven with lime. There is absolutely no reason for anyone to ask for any additional drinks in the liquor cart. We fully stocked it at Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> And what would we find in your refrigerator right now? Probably about five pounds of fruit and vegetables. I'm a huge juicer. Uh, last night leftover pizza and a lot of uh, iced tea. All green vegetables. Uh, my husband's an Aussie, so Aussie meat pies are a definite must. <laughs> uh, right now I'm into hummus. <laughs> Vodka, case of Corona, dark chocolate. Probably some kids' juice boxes. Ooh, milk, water, a couple veggies, some condiments. I really need to go shopping. What was your first car? Actually, I haven't had one yet, but I used to drive my dad's uh, old Chevy. Her name was LB, and I got her when I was 16, and she was an 84 Oldsmobile Omega. 71 Chevy Nova. I haven't had one yet. A 1990 Honda Accord. My first car was a Honda Prelude. It was in 1986, I believe. I haven't had one yet. Toyota Corolla. I haven't had one yet. My first car was a 1986 Ford Mustang that I borrowed from my mother. You want to talk about cool? Drive around your, in your mom's Mustang. What Meeting Max core value resonates most with you and why? Do more with less. I've always been a big believer in making do with what you have and doing the best that you can with what you have. I would say exceed expectations because I believe in working hard no matter the size of the project. Make it fun because I think it's important to have fun. Continually grow. I love learning more about the world that I live in. Definitely continually grow. I love to be continually learning and if I'm not doing something new I just kind of get bored with the stagnant state of it. A uh, core value that resonates most is exceed expectations. I'm always looking for ways to delight and uh, make sure that uh, I'm exceeding everyone's expectations. I'm the finance guy. Do more with less. Batman or Superman? Spider-Man. Definitely Batman. A Batman. Definitely Batman. Superman, hands down. <sighs> Definitely Batman. 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 He had to work for his superpowers. I would say neither. I think the question should be Catwoman or Superwoman? And then I would say Catwoman. Come on. <laughs> Shreddies or Lucky Charms? Reluctantly, Shreddies. 
Probably neither. I think I would choose Fruit Loops. The Fruit Loops. Um, Shreddies get super soggy within the first minute, so definitely the Lucky Charms. Cheerios. That's a tough one. Can I mix the two? What is your Meeting Max superpower? Uh, my Meeting Max superpower is being able to look at the software from a user perspective. Does asking questions sound, count as a superpower? Because I do a lot of that lately. <laughs> I think my Meeting Max power would be the power of friendship. Typing at 150 words per minute. I, for some reason, can remember each of our clients' first name, last name, email address, um, whether they're from years ago and, or whether they're current. I just have the ability to remember all their names. Probably the power of persistence. Being the newest member, I've definitely had to uh, buckle down and get things done and, and learn as fast as I can. I would say giving. I like to bring things to the honest, just make everybody happy. I think my power is the power of support. So whether I'm making someone smile or gathering the team to go for a group run or just brainstorming ideas with someone, definitely the power of support. I think getting more done with less always has been. My meeting max superpower is finding people that are smarter than me who are able to tie it all together. If Jeff Duncan were traveling by train at 300 kilometers per hour from Vancouver to New York City and winds were southeasterly, how many drinks would he have consumed by the time he reached Chicago? How many drinks? So oh, that would be a lot. Well, I think I probably lost count around the wine, so I have no idea. You can guesstimate and say that it's uh, approximately twice the amount of fuel required to get there. How much alcohol does Anheuser-Busch make a year? How much liquor is on the train? That would be a lot. <laughs> Probably too many for me to count. I don't know. <laughs> that would be a lot. Pfft, illogical. I would never take a train that far. <laughs> <laughs>